Okay, I'm all ready to go. Cool. Oh, what do you got planned uh, for the rest of your day today? Um, I don't, I don't really know. Like tonight, I think I'm going to a, like a, an on-campus event of some kind. Nice. <clears throat> um, and I don't know. I might drink tonight. Let's see. Hell yeah! I'm I got here. some friends coming over, so I'll probably be doing the same. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. So you wanted to go over Ilari gameplay, correct? Yes. Um, I took a look at some of the maps, and I think what would be a good one to go over would be uh, Rialto. Uh huh. And then I don't really, I don't really know what what else. Like we'll just kind of see how much time that takes. Okay. Cool. Um, how's uh your Overwatch like mental been? Has it been good? Just checking in on you, all that stuff. Like not um... hating the game more than normal. Yeah, it's been all right. Like, okay. like I said, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of this meta, but I mean, it's cool. It's, it's fine. Like, I'm still having fun. I'm enjoying the game. You ranking up much, or are you just kind of hovering your rank because of Trank? Um, I don't need to hover my rank because of Trank, like, because we're already locked in. So okay, cool. Matter. Um, but I haven't really had any luck climbing, so mm. I've been playing a ton of ranked, and I've just been trying to pr practice Eari a little bit. Okay. Where are you, where are you sitting at right now? uh diamond one okay diamond one that's pretty good all right um <clears throat> so basically let's just look at our composition versus their composition right uh we're playing double sniper with zen no, your screen, i'm not sharing my screen thank you forgot about that <laughs> okay um so we're playing this composition right um double sniper with uh what do you call alari zen and uh Arisa and the enemy team is playing a monkeys and Anna, uh, what do you call it, sojourn and um, sombra composition. So, what is basically our win condition um, as a whole, as a team? Well, first, I had a question. Why aren't we running like Sigma here? Like, why run Arisa? Uh, I think that um, what do you call? It? I think Arisa. So, you know when Ram got played on this map instead of Sigma. Mm, yeah, I think so. So the reason being is just that like Winston is good when dive, and then Sigma is really good in dive or like in poke as well. But like Rom can just hold the cart hostage and allow for your enemy team to just get like unlimited like time to get picks or get picked. Um, it was also Rom was honestly better at taking this high ground than Winston and um, what do you call it than Winston and Sigma. Um, if the enemy team was playing up here, because they, you know, Rom was just that strong at the moment, and Arisa, I feel like is kind of in that moment right now as well. Uh, I think that Arisa has a lot of potential to just hold this corner down right here with a healing pile on, like right here, and then it's just GG. Uh, and then what you kind of do is like. I didn't really want y'all to play up in this forward space just because if they have a dive comp, like our Widow could get here or you could get Dove here. I wanted to kind of play it like uh, most teams usually play, like with the Diva, is the Diva will just sit up here on high ground, spam, contest cart, and then you have like your Ana and your Zen over here, and then you have like your Sniper here and your Sniper here, and they just don't get to walk past here. Um, right. So that's... You don't, you don't really get as many angles like, no. from here. It's not very... Um, and like, uh, you don't, uh, you don't get a lot of angles from here. And also this is just like harder to hold, uh, especially if your tank is starting on the low ground. Uh, I want spider kind of on the high ground up here, poking and then dropping if needed instead of starting. Cause if Winston jumps up here, right? Like who's the biggest threat on your team? It's Winston Sombra dive, right? Is the Winston going to jump your Arisa? No, it's just, just going to jump you. Um, yeah, that'd be pretty vulnerable there. Mm -hmm. So I guess to answer your question, like my win con mm -hmm. would be... Are you talking about like team win con? Or yeah, team like... win con basically. Yeah. Um, our team win con would like to be we we kind of want them to like walk into us prematurely. Um, mm -hmm. So we so we just kind of want to like cook them out. Yeah, and, and like, so yeah, that. and so we want a longer or a shorter team fight. Um, I say we know we want a longer team fight. Yes, we do because we want to give our snipers more time uncontested to find a headshot, and you and your our Zen as well can also find picks. Uh, and the monk, mm -hmm. and they're, they're engaged is basically farming around Winston cooldowns, uh, and nano boost. So let's see how we execute here. So the only threats we really have to worry about are Zenyatta and Sojourn with rail. Um, maybe Anna if you're low HP, but like that's very occasional. So you just got to pay attention to Sojourn here. Good shots. And, um, 
what do you call it? And just make sure you don't get rolled by Zen. Okay, mess up our movement a little bit. How would I have done that better? I would have just kited back. So, um, instead of, because, you know, it's not just a mobility tool, it's also a knockback tool. So, right here, I would have gone back in here. Because what you end up doing, right, is like, let's just look at the enemy, like, Zen POV here. See how much in the open you are? Yeah, and I don't have my movement to kind of, like... No, and, like, if you if you had your movement here, like, if you're taking a duel and you, you know, like, I would say this is greedy, but it's calculated because you could either take cover here or use your movement ability to back out. But since you move, use your movement ability to displace the Winston, that's good, but use your movement ability in the open, and so, like... This is just an opportunity for the enemies then to get hit, right? And, you know, he was charging a right click, but he got speared. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so we have healing pylon. We need to put that up. Oh, wait, never mind. That's your left shift ability. What happened to our healing pylon? Ooh. I think Sombra killed it. I've been I've been struggling with, like, Sombras when I'm playing ER. ER. All right, where do we place it? Nice. Okay, yeah, so I think it was just still, I think it was still out in the open uh, on like over here. I should have just put it on like the left side probably. I think it was over here being used. So that's, yeah. your, your tank called for that, that's fine. This yeah. is good fundamental positioning. Only thing I would say is just like risk management. Now, this is kind of like a pattern I see a lot with your brig gameplay, and that may like this just needs to be a consistent pattern. What do you notice right now at the top right of your screen? Um, the top right. Um, I I mean they just they don't really have any ultimates. Okay, what uh, what more and more specific? Right, it's just oh, uh, Zen and um, Soge are dead. Yes. So what does that mean? We should be doing. Playing more aggro? Yes, we could be put. We could literally drop and push up to here and get these kills, right? Because imagine we help here with the Sombra. Maybe we get the Sombra pick. See how this is just kind of a one man army here? Yeah. Right? You can drop and push and maybe help your Arisa get this kill because who's who's going to help the Sombra? They're all dead, right? Right. And then when, as soon as like either one. Right? The Sambo lives, and she gets out. Like, okay, it is what it is. At least I did the right thing in confirming staggers. Or two, you get the kill, and you're like, cool. And then you just use your little jump, and you get back on high ground. Right? Uh, yeah. But instead, yeah. we're kind of just here. Right? And Arisa almost dies. Right? Distance is no obstacle to and so, like, on Brig, too, right? As soon as the team fights won, we need to be pushing. Right? You just need to get mm -hmm. kills. Right? Can get more ult charge. Right? And stop the enemies from getting more ult charge by killing them quicker. Oh, oopsie, wrong button. Okay, we fall. Good shots. Ooh, okay, so we kind of forget about Fox here. Let's see. Okay, yeah, so this is something you did uh, also, again, right? Uh, this You died later to this mistake. Um, can you tell me what this mistake is? Um... Well, I didn't really, like, I didn't heal, um, Fox. Mm -hmm. Why could you not heal Fox? Uh, because I was shooting at Sombra. Okay, but could you see him? Um, yeah, I could. No, you couldn't. Well, right? No, he was, he was right. Right here, look, you, he was next to you, but right here. What do you have to do to heal Fox? Turn to him? Yes. Is there a way... Um, we could shoot the Sombra and heal Fox at the same time. Or have an easy alternate. You know what I mean? Do you see where I'm going with this? Um, with Pylon? No. You don't I need don't to get closer to deal more damage. Okay. So what if we sit right here and shoot the Sombra, and then we can flick heal to Fox very easily instead of up here to shoot the Sombra and then 180 heal Fox? Right. See what I mean? We also I guess... have cover here. But I guess what? Sorry. Um, I don't know. I guess I just kind of thought like I could finish the kill with melee. Mm. So I, th I, I think that 
that's okay in some circumstances, but when your teammate is under pressure, right, like, you need to be able to help them, right? Um, you want to, as a support, the last thing you want to be doing is 180, right? Um, yeah. uh, sorry, someone DM me. That's okay. Um, so the last thing you want to do is 180, right? Because the, your worst nightmare as a support is Sabra uncloaks, hacks you right here, and your Reinhardt's critical, and you're playing Anne, and you're like, fuck, what do I do, right? You're like, do I help my Reinhardt? What do I do with the Sombra? You have to deal with the Sombra, you're going to die. And then your Reinhardt dies because you were looking at the Sombra, right? Yeah, so play kind of in a way, or play, play, play in an area where I can, like, see both of them. Like, kind yeah. of stay, not like necessarily here but like maybe a little bit closer yeah i mean like you can just i mean you can go closer it's just ideally as a support right the, the great thing about supports is they get to see everything in front of them the last thing they want to do is turn their eyes off of what's in front of them and look behind them by walking forward into this sombra you do this for her right instead of having the easy micro flick adjustment to shoot sombra and then burst heal fox for 120 heals and then shoot sombra again you have to Shoot Sombra, 180 turn, heal Fox, 180 turn again, shoot Sombra, which is very mechanically intensive, right? Right. And you do this again, and it actually gets you killed, which I actually think this is it. Yeah, it gets you killed, because not only do you not have your Widowmaker here to help you, right? You walk into the Winston bubble instead of you just sitting right here. Yeah, because I'm going to have to walk into it. Yeah, okay. So, like, use your range, right? There are rarely situations as a support where you want people to be behind you. On your team, that is. Or just in general, actually. <laughs> yeah. Like, right here, right? Like, this is the... I mean, sure, your team shouldn't be here, but, like, this is another similar situation, right? Should I have just, like, no. used... Well, because I, I wanted to set up pylon. Should I just have, like, used pylon and then backed? Uh, I think you probably could have thrown pylon, like, here. Yeah, I guess so. I just... Oh, I'm doing something. Uh, sorry, go ahead. I think I was worried that, like, they weren't gonna, like, fall back to pylon. Mm -hmm. or, or something and that like I would that, that I would have like better LOS there. Mm. I think that you in this situation I think you could put it inside of here. It's just the thing is this will break really easily, right? And it's better for your I uh, think like if you have the space up here and they're all contested here, like you can throw a healing pylon in here. But with the Winston on this high ground it's gonna pressure your back line. Right? Spider's just playing too aggressively for what do you call it? I would say this situation right now. Um, just because there's a Winston in his back line. But yeah. Um, I think that you're you're doing fine here, or good, um, by walking up here and trying to get value. It's just your team isn't here. Um, the only thing I was saying with the example is like, there's people behind you who you need to heal, and then there's a Winston on top of you, and you don't really know what to do, which can be hectic. Yeah. So, but you play this well. Now that we have this space, this healing pylon is in a pretty good spot, right? Because we have the space. Uh, and then we can just oh, walk forward here. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Good chasing kills. Okay. Nice peel. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. All right, couple things happen pretty quickly. So we push up to chase kills. Now that the cart isn't here, right, that we can't really stall, I don't think we should be playing up here um, if they're 5v5, right, which they're going to be here pretty shortly. We should probably be playing, like, on, on here as a team or back here as a team. I think you can play here just because you have a mobility and your range is, like, better there. Um, unfortunately, you get headshot. Now, what do we think about this mobility tool usage? Um, I don't know. I kind of, I liked getting back 
mm-hmm. a little bit. But it's I guess the problem is like Monkey just kind of had his cooldown and could jump on me. Mm-hmm. So I but I don't really know how else I could have used it. I think you used it just fine. It was kind of a trick question. Uh, oh, I got you. He used bubble. He's discorded and he's in line of sight of your Zenyatta and your Hanzo. If he jumps you, he should die. Uh, but maybe not just because you're down a pick, but ah, I keep clicking the wrong one. He does a good jump to cover, so you're fine, and then you get out, and you're doing good. Shit. Keep leaving, good. Now, how long How long have we had this ult for, actually? I haven't even realized. Bad coach, lol. Okay, not too long. So this is our first fight we had with ultimate. We're kind of pub stomping these kids, right? I don't know if you ult here. Do you ult in this team fight here where Murph tranks? Mm, I don't remember. I don't think I do. Okay. I think I think I I I, I could though. Like mm -hmm. after Winston uses bubble, I think that would be a good opportunity too. You don't even need to wait for a bubble because it goes through shields, right? Um, oh, it does. Yeah, it goes through shields. Um, so what? So you're you're three you're three v uh, four right now, right? Why should you ult? To turn the team fight. Okay, but like, sure, like, yeah, you can, you know, in every situation you can turn the team fight, but like, is this a good situation to try and turn the team fight? Yes or no, and explain why, yes or no. Um, hmm. I would say. What are some things you would consider? Let's start with that. Instead of being specific, why would you consider a 3v4 winnable based on a factor, right? Let's, let's, I would say, I'll give you an example. What heroes I have alive versus they have alive, right? Yeah, That's so, so their, their Ana is down, mm -hmm. um, so they don't, they only have Zen healing. Um, yep. So, and they don't have Trank because they just used it. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that it would be a pretty... I mean, it would be pretty winnable if I if I used it. Exactly. I and right. it, it, as long as I have it, like, in LOS of, like, a Risif or follow-up, or with mm -hmm. Zen, um, then, you know, I could pretty easily pretty easily kill someone. No. what's another factor you have to consider when you're trying to clutch a fight? Um, another factor, like, enemy cooldowns. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. So I I can't. I don't remember what they what they used. I mm -hmm. mean, like they used bubble, right? Yeah. So that monkey's very very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Also, um, HP is a resource, right? If they're low HP. True. And then there's uh, one yeah. more I'm looking for. Okay, one more. I said. Did I say our ultimates? You it didn't say anything about ultimates, but yes, ultimates in general, right? The enemy team's ultimates response, right? Mm -hmm. um and so you got to think like okay like if i like you know i do you know this with my lariel are they going to emp and win the fight and if so is that a good trade or is that a bad trade should i have saved that right or if i lariel in this in this situation can my like you know my arisa you know like ult as well to help or something right so those are those are things you need to consider when you're trying to clutch up a fight now that we've considered all those factors here right who's alive right for our team, it's Zen, Arisa, and ourselves. The enemy team, they have four players without an Ana. They have EMP and Sojal, right, and Primal. Should we invest here? Um, I would say no. No? Okay. Why? Because, well, actually, no, I would say yes. Okay. Uh, I changed, um, and the reason is because I, I think Iari ults charges pretty fast mm -hmm. um orissa doesn't have ult so i can't really combo with that i would have to wait for a whole ult rotation for that mm -hmm. but I feel like i could easily force out primal um i could force out maybe even um like soge ult to like take me down i yeah. i think yeah i could force out ults yeah the only thing that i would be like concerned about where they could win with one ult would be um sombra yeah but that's fine emp for for lyrial is pretty good so that's I would say that right here, you ult, use your mobility, like get a three three K right here. See how low the Zen and their MLR. are. Yeah, and you get the ult here, which is fine, right? Yeah, a little late, but it, it was a little late, but it's fine, right? It's cleanup, right? And like this fight, they invested EMP. This could have been losable, right? I don't know how Spider dodges the EMP, but he does. Oh no, he doesn't. He gets hacked. Um, but yeah, right. He just doesn't lose his armor. Yeah. So that was good. I like that ult.
Yachu. Hello. Alien Yachu. Uh, what, do you, uh, what do you think of this position, like, here? Um, I just... And, like, poking out. I think that this position that Arisa's playing, like, we kind of talked... I've talked with him, Suji, about this. He'll figure it out, or he won't. But, like, if they're playing a Winston comp, right, there's no point in him holding the low ground unless he's trying to stop the objective. But the objective is back here, right? Right. And so... The best place that he could be would be up here to stop the Winston from diving and taking this space. Now, additionally, the only reason the Arisa should be holding here, right, is if the Arisa has teammates to support this poke phase right here on this bridge. But, like, I don't know. Murph's still coming back. If only isn't really doing too much. And then by the time Fox is on this high ground, they already have control of the space. And so now the, now the corner, instead of looking like this in our favor it looks more like this in their favor right and we have to yeah. back up so this healing pylon positioning generally speaking can be good if you're playing this corner aggressively with five people but most of the time i would just throw it like in here okay um and have your Risa play the corner okay that's also like a team-wide thing too mm -hmm. i feel f4 okay okay good Ooh, oh, unfortunately. But I Did, felt uh, like there, I kind of felt safe to like take that duel because Pylon. Yeah. Like, you know, Pylon can't see me, but um, I thought I had Zen Orb on me. You did at the last second. Murph kind of botched this, I'm not going to lie. Um, I think Murph should have orbed you way sooner. Like, or Murph might have been dead. Hold on, let's see. No, Murph was alive. Oh, I, th I think it just went on the wrong person. Yeah, I think it might have just gone on the wrong person. That's okay. Yeah. Um, okay. I a couple of things we could maybe have done differently here. Um, don't forget that your your E is a knockback tool as well. It's not just a mobility. So I'm not saying this is the right play, but maybe what we could have done to live here is push the Winston back before he bubbles. Right. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess. And then also I maybe. Yeah, go ahead. I don't, know, I don't know if I like that, because then I wouldn't really have, like, an escape. Yeah. I don't know if it's the I right play. There. Yeah, okay. I see. But it's just another thing we could do. But that's just kind of unfortunate. You kind of get Sombra Dove uh, and die. Um, I think that, you know, Tank should have been on high ground. Um, and maybe you should have been playing more passively, just because, you know, of where the Winston's going to dive. But it is what it is. Okay, good beam usage. We should be trying to get on high ground, and we can. Okay. Does Beam go through shield? I think no. it does, but... Beam okay. does not go through shield. Healing Pylon and Beam do not go through shield. Oopsie. Alright, I like this positioning here. Hmm. So why are we here? Uh, because Arisa's here. Yeah, um, I don't think you should be here just because your Arisa's here, right? Okay. Just well, be- a... Okay, go ahead. Can, can I explain? Uh, so, so I, f I feel like, um, so I put Pylon up there because I thought we were gonna, like, hold up there. Well. Uh because -huh. that's kind of how I'm used to holding in, like, monkey comps, but I feel like, so I put Pylon up there, and then I destroyed it, and so I followed Arisa to put Pylon where I was gonna be. Mm. So let me ask you this. Why do you hold up here in a monkey comp? Because uh, do... monkey can drop and he has bubbles, so he can make space with that. Yes, but that's not the only reason. Mm -hmm. The main reason you hold up here is because it's really good for your hero, and that applies to almost every hero, right? You can support your Arisa from high ground here, plus a pylon like on this corner exactly should be an LOS of healing your Arisa here, right? on all this corner space here. So you could throw the pylon like up here, just get a little better. But you can yeah. beam your Arisa from this range. You have high ground, so you can poke out the Winston here. You have sight of the cart. And if you get pressured, you can just walk down the stairs or concussion back and you're fine. Additionally, yeah. if your team pushes forward, you can flank up here on the high ground as a Lari and you just get to shoot here like this. And if you need to drop, you can't. Okay. 
I would always start up on this high ground here. Just go high ground every time. And if your Arisa pushes main here, you can either tank this top light, top flank here and shoot the people up here, or you can just drop off the high ground and chase kills with your Arisa. But I would start on the high ground. Like, this is fine, right? You're chasing kills with your Arisa. Risa pushes a little bit too far. Okay, now we're on the high ground. Good. Uh, I think we've just been playing on stairs here a little. Better cover. Good shots, though. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, you played that well. Yeah, this is good positioning. I like this. Now you should be poking bridge. Good. When you're poking bridge, you can move your pylon for yourself. Um, I would okay. say you could, like, if they're all walking across this bridge, give your DPS a little bit more confidence to hard commit to this with a pylon, and then they can maybe get a pick, right? Um, if, you're, if your Reese is not using it, then you can just break the pylon when they, they rotate, and then you can just throw it back up here. Um, nice. Sick ult. Really good positioning. Nice. 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 Kinda cracked, gamer. <laughs> um, so yeah, good, good defense. Only thing I would say uh, is that on second point, just hold high ground more. I think that was kind of a team issue. Um, yeah. I think Spider made the call. I yeah. Like, you should be holding high. And I, yeah. Um, so, you know, hold high ground. And then on uh, first point, uh, I think pylon usage should probably be played like i wouldn't recommend you play this pylon here after like the the team fight has been lost or whatever the cart isn't here i would probably just throw your pylon like back here or up here something like that so sure. that you yeah. can use it um just because this corner is going to get folded so quickly like this is not a very strong corner to hold um yeah and then additionally last thing i'd say it's just like you don't need to walk closer to deal more damage, right? And, like, if you can have the option of having, like, an ally and an enemy in your sight line versus walking closer to get a melee and, like, leaving your ally behind you, like, do do this one, this option here. Yeah, I guess I was kind of playing it, like, loose. Mm -hmm. When I should have just been using my range. All right, let's see what we do here. I'm assuming we go Winston or Brigana here? Yes, okay. Readying up. All right. All right, this is good positioning. Just push cart, right? You have good. You can pack your tracer here. Nice whip shot. Now, something I wouldn't hate to see, right, is you uh, come over here and force out the Sombra with your shield bash mm. and help your Tracer win this 1v1, right? Mm -hmm. Because first of all, it'd be a 2v1, right? Second of all, you're in your Ana LOS. And third of all, you have really good cover if you commit your mobility tool. So you should be safe here 99% of the time, right? Yeah. So if you see situations like this, like um, what do you call it? If you watch, go to the Atlanta Rain um, YouTube channel and watch, I think it was Chio play Brig. Like I was like, wow, this guy is diving the enemy sombra like so much um i was really impressed and i was like huh i didn't know that um but yeah so if you see an an opportunity that like you can force out a, a sombra that's great this is a little bit too far for you but um yeah yeah where where are you there you are good pushing cart you're the best person to do it your winston gets stuck that's fine good whip shot Nice pack usage. We could throw a whip, maybe. Good gameplay so far. Only thing I would say we can maybe do is um, bash out that Sombra. Yeah. All right, we couldn't cart pressure here. That's good. Nice. Farm Inspire. Keep farming Inspire. Nice. Okay, good. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That was a really bad series of events. Um, uh, I, I stayed too long for one day. So, what do we need to do, right? We've talked about this before. As a team, when we play Winston, what do we need to do as support? Um, well, 
so for for Anna, Anna needs to like maintain LOS of mm -hmm. monkey, um, and then Brig kind of needs to like be packing the um, packing the um, DPS. Yeah, DPS. Yes. Now, how can we get our Anna the best sight line right now? Not right now, but like in general, right? Where do we need to go? We've talked about this as a team. What 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 is the goal of our Winston diving on this high ground? Um, well, we want to take the high ground eventually. Yes, um, we need to take the high ground eventually. And now that the cart is here, the cart isn't going to get much further. We need to start making this move. Uh, yeah, but I just, like, their entire team is up there, and I feel like we would just get rolled by, like, Diva and, like, Tracer. And, well, that's, have... that's why you have your Winston and your Echo help you. Okay. Right? This isn't a two-man operation that we do here, right? What we do, right, is we have our Winston, right? We do some soft dives here with our Echo. We push cart, right? And either someone drops to contest cart or um, or we get a pick off these dives. But eventually what needs to happen is our supports need to rotate here and our Winston can either follow here or just jump up on high ground. But I think probably the safe play is just have your Winston walk under and just take yeah, this high ground with your supports. Uh, especially because they don't have a, uh, what do you call it, a brig. Um, we could be proccing Inspire a bunch in that little corridor. Okay. Okay. Like right here. Nice. Good. That was good. Mm. Since cards back there, should we just? I mean, wait. Did monkey die there? Yes, monkey died. But I like. We get two picks here. Right. We could do one of two things, right? We're about to get two picks at least. Right? We get two picks here. One, we should push cart, or two, we should maybe go high ground with our echo. I think the play is to go high ground. Yeah. With echo because there's only the both. Yeah, because see how much like our echo is doing here, right? Like your Anna doesn't really need to be protected. I'm gonna be honest with you, right? Look at their comp, right? They have a they have a, a sombra, and a diva, and the diva sh like probably won't be hard boosting into your Anna if she's playing, like, out of range, right? Um, if your Anna is, like, right here and the Diva's on high ground, like, yeah, you're going to get boosted on and have a bad time. But, like, if the Anna is in spawn, like, healing our Winston up here, like, and you're on cart, you should not have to worry about your Anna dying. Um, they should be able to at least 1v1 a Sombra and win, like, 60% of the time if they have a cooldown. Um, but you need to be helping your Echo or pushing cart here. Like you're playing too passive. Like right here, right? Oopsie, that's the start of the VOD. Let's push up to here a little bit. Like this is too passive on Brig, right? Situation like this, like I would be walking high ground right now or pushing cart. And then when we actually do have our Echo carry with a duplicate here, right? Who's gonna? Who, how many people are on cart right now? Two. Two, exactly. So you don't need to be pushing cart. You can, but what's the better play? Go up and uh, look for stagger kills. Yeah, help your echo, right? Right. You have a tracer and a, a diva dupe, right? Like, go get these kills. Go farm inspire. Go build your ultimate, right? You don't need to be on cart here. Like fox eyes because of you. Could have packed him if you were closer. Okay. Good back. Now we just go in, but yeah, a little bit, a little bit too passive on uh, on Brig. So basically, I just we just need to have that like the killer instinct, right, and just the awareness of what the enemy team's threats are, right. Um, if they're playing a Winston that like into your Anna, like that, yeah, it's a bit more of a threat to your Anna. So I understand why you'd want to play back more um, with like a Tracer Sombra, but like they have a Diva Sombra, and like Diva Sombra dive isn't very like their game their goal is not to hard dive your Anna. Their goal is to hack the enemy Winston and punish him, right? Um and so we could just t take advantage of that by playing more aggressively. This is good. Keep getting kills here. Um I think you're using your shield just a little bit too much. It just kind of looks awkward plus you move slower with shield. So like 
It's the equivalent of if you were playing Reinhardt and you're in cleanup phase, and instead of walking forward holding your left click, you're just kind of walking forward holding your shield. Like, like you see how there's not really any threats in front of you. You're just kind of yeah, like scared. I'm not really taking damage either. Yeah, like you're not like you're just moving slower, and you just like you just just be aggressive, right? Be the threat. Um. Now you or Anna should be in high ground. Maybe you should be in high ground to start too, and then drop. I would actually. I think that's maybe the best play here. Is um you should maybe be on high ground up here with your echo, um or your Anna up here or something. I think your Anna should be up here. I can just take I can just take stairs behind. Yeah. yeah, I think you should. I think your Anna should be playing here, and then you should be playing here with your echo. And then maybe. if you need to drop, you can drop here and get this mini and bash out. Or if your team is winning, you can just jump off the ledge and get more kills. Um, plus you have rally. So let's see the rally usage here. Go back a little further, even. Okay. Mm. What do we think about the rally? Mm. I, I like the idea of it because I was trying to kill the trace, mm -hmm. or like at least force recall. Yeah. Um. So I I do I like this rally. Generally. Okay. I think this rally is good until now. What's, like I should have rallied earlier. Yes. Why is it ra why would the rally have been a great idea until this exact frame? Because health over health for um like I, I could have kept kept Murph alive. Possibly. Yes, right. You need to keep your Anna alive, right? Mm -hmm. Um, if they use Kiri Rush here, right? What are they gonna do with this Kiri Rush? I mean, just walk. They're gonna walk, right? So. We don't need to rally instantly, right? We don't need to be like, oh, they use Kiri Rush. I'm going to click rally, right? But you need to have your fucking finger over that Q key. So, like, as soon, I would say I would rally here, right? The D.Va dropped, rally, right? You yeah. should also be packing your Ana. Yeah, I, um, I think I, I can tell you why. If you can, let me, let me see if you can figure it out. Why are you not able to pack your Ana here? Because I'm not behind her. Yeah. Okay, I would just I, no. It's because I'm looking at <clears throat> Trace. I would say. Yeah, I would just say like again. This is kind of like. Um, I would just say you're looking at Trace. Yeah, and like the the split attention, right? Uh, also, I think that like you're shielding here a lot. I would just be. I would just double pack my Anna. Like you need to just be preemptive here. But yeah, you're looking at Tracer. Big reason her Anna dies, and we don't pack her. Um, but I think a lot of this just has to come down to, like, being ready to respond. Uh, I think the rally was good in, in intention, but execution was bad. Yeah. Um. Okay, we're with her Winston here. Is there Anna behind us? Yes, she is. So, like, right here, what are we doing? Um... This entire, pl this entire, like this, yeah, we're taking higher, but like right here. I don't know. I should, I should just drop, shouldn't I? Yeah, you, you, should, you, don't, you don't need to, yeah, you could drop on Trace, or you could just duel the Kiri. <clears throat> right? Like, this is good. You cleared high ground by yourself. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, just do this sooner, right? Or <laughs> drop on this Tracer here, right? Like, Bash does 50 damage. That's a third of her health, right? Or bash across, force this Kiri out, right? Like, you could be more aggressive on this Kiriko, right? Now you have your mobility tool, right? Do you get value from this high ground? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you do. But I think you get more value by dropping, right? Yeah, I'm talking Spire. Yeah, like right right here, right? Follow, kill the Sojourn, right? Like right here, kill... Like me as well, though. Yes, honor should be up here. Okay. Definitely, hundred percent. Honor should be up here. I think I was concerned that my honor wouldn't, my honor wouldn't be able to save me mm. if I drop. So that's so you shouldn't drop in front of five people here or four people, but you could drop on the sojourn right here that's and true. and like kill her. Really good. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Or like you know, let's let's see this from your PV, right? Like we're looking here. You see sojourn, right? I would have just dropped right back here and been swinging on the Sojourn on the corner, 
right? You did your job. You cleared this high ground, right? Your monkey could use some help with Inspire. Your Tracer's here, right? You're proccing Inspire with these two people. That's on Forge. But, like, be more aggressive, right? Brig is not just a pack bot. And then we bash away from the Sojourn. Like, I would've tried to kill her at least. Okay, so there's an E here. That's really annoying. Okay, nice catch. All right, so last team fight here. We scrap things out. Okay, so we're one v one right? Our wins, our Anna does not need help. We just push forward here. Yeah, this is good. I mean, they're all dead, but oh, we know we die. Okay, we get the point. Yeah, you just get railed plus like tickled. By Diva. We swap to Alari. But yeah, I think biggest biggest thing on Brig is just playing aggressively. I think that was kind of what we we're working on last time, is just knowing when to leave your Anna. Um, that still needs to be improved uh, a bunch. So um yeah. just like if they don't have a lot of dive threat, like Diva's not that big of a dive threat to your Anna. I'm gonna be completely honest, right? The only reason that like the general rule of thumb I would say with Diva being a dive threat is if she if the Anna's playing within half of her total booster range. So from here to here, if the Anna's playing here and the Diva's up here, the Diva's a threat to your Anna, right? Yeah. But if the Diva's like on low ground here on this, like eh, even then, I'd say on this low ground, like this is a threat, right? Half the booster range. But like, let's say our Anna's playing up here and the Diva's playing like on this corner right here, like this threat isn't as big of a deal in my mind, just because the Anna yeah. can drop and make space, right? She's got to worry about the point too. Um, so we swap over to the Alari again. Okay, so Tracer on left. Fox diff. Okay, what do we think about pylon positioning? Good. Good? I think it could be a little better. Right? Oh, just, so. just cause, um, what do you call it? Actually, okay, it's not that bad. I thought they would be able to see it on this high ground. Eh. Maybe they could. I would just like a little further back. Yeah, a little further back. So like the, instead of the sightline being like right here on the ledge, right where they could barely see it, right? Let me let me go with the pylon POV, right? This is what pylon sees, right? We just move yeah. it back a smidge. Now you can't see the edge and it's That's right here true. on this wall. Uh, I think it's good. Good idea. Just a little bit better execution, but it's still getting value. They're not breaking it. Nice. Good cover usage on the cart. Nice mobility. Uh oh, I remember this. I I saw that and I'm like, oh, that's gonna be huge. <laughs> yeah, I know me too. Uh, maybe Sorry. we could have will lived if we didn't have to use our mobility tool. Let's see how where why we use our mobility tool. They use carry rush and sojournal. We back up, and then you're like, huh, we're not losing. Yeah, okay, that's 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 understandable. Yeah, that's just kind of unfortunate. I think like everyone used cooldowns. And it was also just well placed. Yeah, it was a really good spot. Okay. Zarya into the D.Va. Okay. I don't hate this position, but where should we be going as a team? Um, I mean... I like, are, are you trying to get out, like, we should all go high ground? Yes. I don't know if I, I, don't yes. know if I agree with that. Why? Because, well, it's like, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's I okay. I feel like D.Va Diva could just, like, D.Va could just, like, fly up there. Mm. You have Azaria, though. It's, yeah, that's true. It's hard. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't really have a, re have a good reason. The reason we go high ground is because the cover the diva is utilizing is very good, right? We don't have, if we want to push out here, we don't really have good cover, right? We have this, but if we, if like, this isn't awesome for cover, to be honest, because it's really hard to take space from here, right? If we go high ground, right, we, we route up on high ground, right? You can throw your healing pile on, like, you know, in this room or something, right? You maybe you could even throw it on the floor. I bet you throw it on the floor, like right here, right? So it's out of LOS of this window. You get healing in this this little corridor here, and then you flip this corner, right? Where's the next cover they have to play? Um, the next corner. 
right here. Yes, right? Yeah, okay. And then because they have to play back here, now we control the space here. Instead of us being stuck here, and this is the space that we control. If we go low ground, this is what we have to control and fight from, right? And then if we go high ground, this is what we get to control and fight for. Much more room, right? See how much more map we get to see here? Versus mm -hmm. from down here, we just get to see like this. Yeah, I, I like that better. Things high like ground, nine times out of 10 is better. The only reason I would say go low ground is just if you have an ultimate, like a nano blade, and you just want to push fast. Sure. Or their tracer just feeds. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hit your shots. Nice. Okay. I did it. But yeah, like, let's see what happens to your your front line when this happens. I'm curious because we lose a lot of people. Oh, sojourn. That sucks. I don't know. Maybe I just should have calmed that I was like feeling bad. I think if if does a bad job of calming tracer like flankers like the there's just a little bit of a hit squad here like if goes on a really good play here and gets a lot of people low it's just he went by himself and he went too early like this is a good flank it's just too early um yeah and then you just take a a, a 1v1 that takes a little long and murph dies yeah that's that sucks that's all right we win these yeah we do okay good healing pylon i'll just put it um I would just put it at a vertical position because it's really fucking annoying. I've been playing like Arisa to have to look up with Fortify <laughs> and shoot the healing pylon. I feel so like anxious. Oh yeah. Um, just because like okay, like because the difference between like okay, I can shoot the healing pylon and see what's in front of me, right? I know what threats I have to deal with. But if the healing pylon's like up here, this is I I this is what I have to do. I'm very I'm like where where what do I shoot? I don't know what to shoot. Right. Right. People don't like to look up in the They go. Good, not feeding with your ult. Really good. <laughs> I've been better though. Okay, now we need to move our healing pylon. Yeah, you kind of forgot about your healing pylon where, here. Just where would I, where would I move it though? Like just on payload? Uh, like here. Or on like a column? Okay, yeah, yeah, like right here. Just looking down. I got you. Cause it's not it's not getting that much value back here. It's getting no value. I mean you're healing your bastion for a little bit of poke if you <laughs> Yeah. Um But uh yeah, just just move your healing pile on again. Um I think biggest takeaway here, so um Alari first point, um just um like specific Alari things, just trying to keep um people in front of you so that you can burst heal them with beam. Uh, instead of having a 180 flick and heal them. That's just kind of a general flex support thing. Like if uh, you're playing Ana and you have to turn around to heal, that's really like scary because you have to turn your back to the front line. Uh, it's also just mechanically harder. Um, and so ideally, you just want to have everything in front of you, enemies and friendlies, that you can just alternate between very easily. Um, and then healing pylon, just making sure we reposition it um, and whatnot. Um, I think that your positioning with it was generally pretty good. Just remembering to replace it if the team fights like um one or we're moving to a different corner mm -hmm. uh also maybe place healing i think that was maybe like a one or two time thing but just remember to place healing pile on at a, a high angle so it's harder to shoot um okay. general brig tips um pushing out flankers um like over here if you see an opportunity to i think that's a very um important skill that brig has um so i've okay so one one big thing is mm -hmm. like I, I remember like a like probably over a month ago when we we bought it um you said I should like experiment with like pushing out tracers yeah um I so I I do really like the play of pushing out um Sombra and tracer Genji I Sombra and Genji oh Genji so tracer's so hard tracer's hard because she can just blink away and then mm. like I don't know. I just I don't I don't think I should like chase super hard with 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 tracer. Like no. So the goal when you chase a squishy down is not to get a kill. It's to make them use oh, okay. their their recall ability, right? So when you are when you are dueling a tracer here, 
right? What you want the tracer to do is recall or give up space so that the enemy, so that your tracer slash Sombra has control, right? You're not out here to confirm a kill. You're here to force recall, force dash, force deflect, force blinks. And then you, that's your job. That's it. That's your job done, cool. right? Uh, we're not hunting for kills. We're hunting for space, right? Um, and if a kill comes, great, take it, right? Like if the fucking tracer, like, double blinks into the wall and you're like, and she used recall when she's trying to escape, like fucking, yeah, like get, hunt that bitch, right? But if she like recalls and then double blinks around this corner, done, job done, that's it, right? You go back, yeah. right? Or you get Genji to use deflect and he's backing up, right? If he's low, you can maybe confirm the kill because it's Genji and he does, maybe doesn't have dash, but otherwise you just back up, right? Um, you don't need to get the kill. Okay. Um, yeah, we can, I can, we can look over a YouTube video real quick. Let mm -hmm. me pull up the um, Atlanta Rain, um, Chiovid. I watched that because I was um trying to get my Brig knowledge up. Let me do sure. Brig eighteen. Here oh, also, so I was thinking earlier. Um, since you said you're going to DU, mm -hmm. um. You know, my friend Looney Soul, um, yeah. he also goes here. So if you'd want to, like, the three of us, like, go get lunch or something, we should nice. do that sometime. That'd be cool. Cool. Um, here, let me share my screen with you real quick, if it'll load. Okay. There, we, there we go. Chio is unkillable. So he's going to be bullying, um, what do you call it? He's going to be bullying Birdring a bunch. So, like, let me just skip two examples. Right here. So watch this play. With his Anna, with his Anna. Sees birdering on birdering, done. Like instantly. Instantly, right? Oops, I did control P because I thought we we're in replay viewer, right? And he does this like the entire match, right? He's here, he's playing in a forward position, cover, 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 right? Sees birdering on birdering. He's also like hugging walls. And then yeah, oh, I do keep doing control P because I think it's how you pause. Now notice this, right? Watch, right? Even if birdering was uncloaked here, what is the goal of this bash? What is um, the goal? To force out Sombra. Yes. Actually, I would say um, to kill Sombra here. I mean, I, ideally. Yeah, ideally to kill Sombra, right? Like, ideally we want to kill people. But are you going to kill Sombra here? Uh, well, wait, did, did she just place her... Um, her locator's her, not here. Her oh, locator's. Not here. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Then, then she just yes, hacked the Mega. That's all she did. F oh, force her out. Okay. Yeah. But also, what does this do if you bash the Sombra and force her out? What if we didn't um, force her out? What happens? Then she'll just like farm, uh, farm Anna, farm, uh, farm Winston. Yeah, she'll Definitely. get behind us, right? Mm -hmm. Which is what we don't want. Oh, nice yes. Wild. Right. <laughs> and like again, like again, like he's hunting birdering, right? Right over here, over here. Oh, birdering's on an off angle. Go away, go away. And then right here, right, sees the locator, gets, is like chasing super hard. You see how aggressive this brig play is? Yeah. Right, and there weren't a bunch of situations where, like, the enemy Sombra was, like, behind. But, like, this is what we were looking for, right? So, like, watch here, right? So, Brig, this is the situation, like, I was talking about here on uh, Rialto, like, when you were pushing cart on first point and your Anna was behind you, mm -hmm. right? What we did, like, the Echo was on, I'm trying to, just, the Echo was on high ground, your Bri your Anna was on the first point bridge, and you were on uh, underneath low ground here, right? Yeah. This is where we should be playing. We should be playing on cart or we should be playing on high ground. Right? Now, why do we come back here? See, um, push cart. Like, what, like what, what, what are you asking? Like, sorry, I was a little, I said it really too early. So, see, like, the Sombra's behind us, right? Why does yeah. he not come back here? Um, Sombra's in cover. Okay. Oh, oh, because uh, pack range. Yeah, pack range. Also, okay, yeah. what else? Um, do you need to help your Anna win this one v one? No, cause uh, cause someone else is back. Who who's back there? I can't see. I think it's Lip. Yeah, it's Lip. It's Lip. Okay, yeah. yeah. Right. You don't need to come back and help. Right. One, yeah. So you keep pushing cart. Right. Now why do we back up here? Um, because they're like, um, because they they have cart position. Now. Yeah, exactly. Right. I just want to make sure you weren't thinking because of the Sombra, Right. They backed up just because yeah, yeah, of yeah. the situation. Yep. 
Like you hold as far forward as they'll let you, right? See, we're up here as Brig, as far forward as they'll let you. But like he saw, he saw the team fight, like going. He saw them, like everyone, like yeah, um, going forward on him. So Dong Hack probably just said, "I'm backing out," like disengage, <laughs> right? And so we were just waiting for the Sombra to get a pick um, instead of playing aggressively. Because if your Sombra's in the back line dueling a Sombra, and your Tracer, I think, died earlier in the team fight. Where is Stalker? I don't know where Stalker is. But basically, you just have no DPS to follow up. So you're like, let's back up. Let's kill the Sombra. And then let's push back forward when we have our resources. Let's skip ahead a little. So right here, right? We push Cart. We're with our Tracer here. Farming Inspire. Getting really aggressive, right? Playing as far forward as we can. Uh, why wouldn't... Why wouldn't you rally there? Um, maybe just because they wanted to take a dry fight. Um, also, he got... They got EMP. Well, he got hit with EMP. Oh, no, he didn't. Hmm. Oh, no, he did get hit with EMP. That was their EMP. Um, yeah. So, I would have responded with rally here. But after... Um, but Chio actually is really well known for being really greedy with rallies. Um, he holds on to them for a while. And he saw two picks here. And so maybe he didn't think he needed to rally. Or he could rally like when they're coming back. Yeah, maybe. Because Le Lijagon already used... I don't know. So he kind of has an ultimate advantage. I don't really know. I think that um, that could have been a mistake or that it could have just been a situation where they're happy with their advantage and they don't really want to keep investing. Yeah. yeah. That fight. That? Uh, yeah. They use three ults there. Mm -hmm. That's three to, to two, I guess. That's a good trade. Um, yeah, three to two is a good trade. Uh, I think uh, if I had to guess, it's just that they are already winning in push. And when you're winning in push, you don't need to make progress, right? Like progress is great. But like, if you're just winning by a lot, all you need to do is defend. Uh, um, another thing I just realized, wait, go back to, to, to wherever that was. You kind of don't want to take a fight there because that's like really open. Here, yeah. Or out here. Up, up there, I don't think you do at least. Yeah, you don't really want to take a fight up here unless it's cleanup. Um, but I just Which think... I could have done but what you could have done with rally but i think the big thing is just like you can win that team fight with rally and your win percentage is probably like 50 50 right or you can just save like the rally be happy with your ultimate advantage and then just play defense the rest of the game and win the next team fight with rally have an opportunity so uh they're using this rally to get pretty aggressive the kariko swap as well twilight okay so we counter ult here good right Getting aggressive with Rally, not too aggressive though. I really think they're just trying to stop losing the fight just because they get someone bioed, right? Okay, Susie there, well oh, tied nice. by Twilight. Yeah, protects him against that pulse bomb that would have gone off. Dong Hack though was able to get away, and that might be the even bigger result. Yeah, it's kinda getting rolled here. They get rolled for a little bit. These rail gun shots, you pretty big game changer if he's able to but yeah, Like up here goes high ground with the Sombra. Takes a duel. Big kill. That was so good. But yeah, and then like again, right? We we see we see a, a flanker, right? Like right now, our team is brawling. Our Winston's engaged. Our Sombra's engaged. Let's get aggressive here, right? Forces out Bird Ring, right? Playing out of Junker Queen Axe range, but is still proccing Inspire. See Bird Ring's on that off angle. Can we force him out right now? No, but there's a tracer on left side. I'm surprised they back up here. Maybe it was a team comm. They're also still winning. Yeah. Maybe they just want to take it back here. Because Lip has EMP. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't know why. My brain, I'm like, my brain is telling me, like, I would have maybe have gone over here and forced out the Sombra a little bit more aggressively. You mean the Tracer? Oh, the Tracer, yeah. Like, 2v1 this Tracer here. I don't know why Chio doesn't go on the Tracer. Because there's a big, there's big glass doors preventing the Junker Queen from walking past. Maybe the Junker Queen is too far forward, like for him to comfortably walk in. He hasn't been to walk on from behind. I don't know. Oh, big cleanse. Can you cleanse that? Uh, yes, you can. But he he hits the cleanse. Like, watch this cleanse. So EMP. Oh yeah. That was almost like before the EMP. Almost, yeah. So they almost avoid the burst damage, but they avoid a lot of damage. 
Yeah, they're just kind of losing tempo here, but that's kind of what I want you to like do as Brig. Um, it's just if you see an opportunity to one v one someone or two v one someone with bash safely, right? Just beach, yeah. Yeah, just just one v one them, right? If they're on an off angle. Now, oh, yeah. what's a big factor as to the reason that this like plays like this didn't get punished? Um. Well. Top left of your screen. That's your hint. Uh, because they're diving on... Well, like, on is hacked, right? Well, I don't know. Heroes. Oh, oh, okay, no, I, I, know, I know what you're getting at. Um, so, because they have a queen, uh, you don't really need to stay as next to your Ana. Mm -hmm. Um, because if, if they had, like, a, if they had, like, a monkey there, a monkey break Ana, mm -hmm. then, uh, the monkey would just dive the Ana. Or, like, or you. Or, or yeah, or you just in like isolate someone exactly right. So that's the that's the big thing, right? It's just what these plays are acceptable. Like more of these plays will be frequent. The ex like, uh, more of these plays will come up as an opportunity for you to play aggressively because they're not playing a Doomfist or a Winston, right? Or a Wrecking Ball, right? Uh, Diva is kind of the one quote unquote dive tank. I would say you could probably get like an equal amount of these plays with, uh. Because if we go back to like Overwatch, right? Like the only the only situation I think of is like on first point where like here, um, when your tracer was we were attacking here. Let me see. Two minutes. That's when I fell. It's like the first part of the team fight here. So like right here on left side, the Sombra's here, right? If you commit bash into this corner here, right? You should be safe most of the time because you have cover and you have Anna at left, right? Yeah. Like right here, we it's just- not not been too far past. Yeah. And like, that, that's all I really have to say. So, um, okay. I'm gonna DM these to you real quick. Um, general play more aggro in um, Alari. Uh, try to keep um, all teammates in front of you and uh, what do you call it? Pylon on high surfaces and um, probably just look to ult more from just previous scrims i don't know we didn't really talk about that um that was um well because it wasn't really a big thing and it was just a big thing in um um like i can walk yeah like help or mm -hmm. multiple rotations um we see anything else i remember keep pylon in front or keep teammates in front of you put highlight on high surfaces um i think that was really about all we talked about because we had pretty good positioning and mechanics i would say um um i have it recorded so you can go back but i think those are the big notes and then brig um what do you call it um use rally earlier like yeah like, be ready just yeah just be, be ready use rally um based on enemy team ults Use rally earlier based on enemy ult usage. Um, be more aggressive. Um, force out flankers on off angles and push to clean up fights. All right, I think those are the big things. We can do another map, or we can call it. It's up to you how much time you want to do. Um, I think it's been about an hour. We can call it, but um, I want to revisit soon. When do we start, Frank? Do you know? 20th, I think. Or no, not. So tomorrow? Not tomorrow. I think the week of the 20th is what Murph said. So oh, 24th is when we start. Because we have match days on... 
Thursday. Thursday, yeah. So we scrim 24. Monday, Tuesday. Um, Is it still at like 8 p.m. Eastern? It's like 8.30 or something like that. It's like, something like, it's like a little bit later, but yeah, it should be around that time. I'll confirm with Murph. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. So um, any questions for me? Um, I have no questions. Cool. Um, yeah, I'll I'll keep working on that. Uh, when can we? Um, when when can you? Like, what what's uh, next week look like for you? Are you busy? Uh, we twenty fifth and sixth. I'm commentating, so I'm busy then. Um, for yeah. Uh, no, for the Iliad Invitational. Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, and then, what do you call it? Um, words. I should be pretty free the rest of the week, uh, the first part of the week. So I could probably do like um, Wednesday on a comp day or like after scrim on Monday or Tuesday or something like that. Um, okay, I could not. probably do I could probably do Wednesday. Wednesday? Do you want to set a time or do you want to figure it out closer when we get to the date? Um, let's figure it out. Let's figure it out now. Okay. Um, I'm down to do like um, like – seven eastern to you know i might play with y'all so like seven eastern before like we play comp together to like i don't know 12 eastern in the in the afternoon those are like i'm free till then okay i can do i'll do seven eastern seven east great i don't know if i'll be able to play on that day but we'll see because no I worries might... At least I should be able to do seven Eastern. I'll let you know because I I might be picking up another class at that time slot. But okay. We'll see. No worries. Just reach out. All right, I have it in my calendar. I'll edit it if I need to, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, Thanks All so right much. man. No worries. I'll see you around. All right.